But eight government ministers have come clean about their driving habits and it isn't pretty. Most of the state's highest ranking politicians admit they have been caught speeding at least once, more than 20 kilometres an hour over the limit. Caught doing 100 in an 80 zone, the education minister doesn't deny his cop to speeding fine before. It was a couple of years ago actually and it was an honest mistake. And Peter Collier isn't alone. Most of Colin Barnett's cabinet ministers admit to speeding. Tony Simpson and Mia Davies have both paid two fines in two years. In the past two years uh, I've had uh, two fines uh, at the lower level. Uh, I've been driving for uh, nearly 50 years so uh, uh, I've had some before but none to my memory uh, in recent times. I would, thought I was in one zone was in another so uh, I got caught with a multi-nova. But it was an area where um, I wasn't actually clear about the speed limit, um, semi-rural area but that's no excuse. What do you say to them? I tell him to suck it up, quite frankly. Bill Marmion says he has a clean record since becoming a member of Cabinet. Transport Minister Dean Nolder, Attorney General Michael Mission also model citizens. But what about Police Minister Lisa Harvey? Not for a long, long time. In fact, I haven't had one since I was pre-selected as a candidate in 2008. And the same applied for the Premier, although he does use a personal driver most of the time. And it seems the public is worse than the pollies. 34% of drivers didn't obey the speed limit on Perth roads last year. Two and a half thousand motorists caught every day breaking the speed limit. Scott Cunningham, Nine News.